I'm not getting my money's worth. So we're into week two of the month and talking about things related to adherence. And in this week's videos, I'm going to cover a number of reasons that people might give for essentially stopping their membership with us. And I'm going to question them because sometimes the reasons that people give are, are genuinely full on logistical. They're unavoidable reasons that they can no longer continue. Quite often, though, the reasons they give are perhaps, shall we say, only part of the story. And me helping question the stories that we tell ourselves and narratives that go on in our head is a massive part of why we get success. I'm not just going to smile and nod and go, I get it, that's fine, and then cancel people off straight away because that's what has happened every other time they've done this in the past. They've got so far with things they've tried and then they've just cancelled and stopped. And I do get that, but again, I feel I'd be doing, doing you a disservice if I didn't question that. And in today's video, I'm talking about the concept of not getting our money's worth in terms of our membership at Rise. And it's a powerful thing to remember that no one really gets their full money's worth. No one uses every single part of what we do. Not a single member comes to every session. No one comes to all the sessions that realistically could. No one uses all the systems we've got in place, comes to every social, gets everything out of it. What we need to do is make sure at the very least we're getting enough to be making better progress than we would be otherwise. So if we were to stop completely and regain a stone or two, which very often happens, then our membership might just be, at the moment, helping us maintain our weight. It might even be damage limitation. We might be gaining a pound or two here and there where we know perfectly well we'd be going completely in the opposite direction otherwise. It's about that knowingly suboptimal process that we can and do do and being willing to make suboptimal progress or again, have that damage limitation. So I'm really gonna question this concept of getting our money's worth. No one gets full money's worth. Let's just make sure we're getting enough. And really, no matter how busy we are and how much stuff we've got on, with the support and the systems we've got in place, if you just engage and don't just go head in the sand, I can guarantee you will make better progress than you would do if you stopped completely. And that better progress is always worth it. If I told you you could gain weight, have a body you like the look and feel of this, have lower energy, lower mood, be more irritable, more prone to health issues, but you'd get to save three pounds a day, you wouldn't take it, would you? 